The Secure Development Policy. The Secure Development Policy looks at information security in software development. The purpose of the policy is to ensure information security is designed and implemented within the development lifecycle. A great principle is security by design and default. So getting these things right early on and throughout the life cycle are going to reap significant rewards and benefits and this policy will address that particular point. So secure software and system engineering principles and standards are implemented and are tested and as we say information security and privacy are by design and default. We have policy statements on the segregation of environments, development test and production environments are separated and then we have test, text in blue that is for consideration that is either correct and can be turned to black or needs consideration and an update with what is specific to your organization. We have a policy statement on secure development coding guidelines. We have policy statements on development code repositories on our code reviews, on our development code approval. We have policy statements around testing and how we go about testing. Policy statements on external penetration testing. And we have policy statements on test data. Now, we would never use production data or personal data or cardholder data in a test environment. We have policy statements on promoting code into production and the best practice. And finally, we have the usual policy compliance statements looking at compliance measurement, how we're going to measure compliance, how we're going to manage exceptions, how we're going to manage non compliance and how we're going to manage continual improvement. The secure development policy is designed to work with any software development lifecycle. You are going to have process documents about how you do software development that satisfy the requirements of what we do that is covered in the policy. So whether you're running a sprint or an agile or a waterfall or whatever the methodology that it is that you use, the secure development policy is going to satisfy the requirements of the ISO 27001 standard and ensure that you're developing in a secure way. Security by design, security by default, and that's your information security policy for secure development. Thank you.